Oh, hey, didn't see there. Guess what I just learned? The Recording Industry Association of the Americas is saying that vinyl is poised to outsell CDs for the first time since 1986. Now to Tom Cohn at Bop Shop Records, this comes as no surprise. I've been predicting it for years. It's become an activity for families. I see so many parents coming in with their kids, their, their teenage, 20-something kids, and they shop together. They're buying records together. Hey, Dad, do we have this? Do I have this? They sometimes compete with each other even. But, you know, it's, it's an inherent thing to most humans. They like to collect something. It became this wonderful tactile thing that you could hold in your hands. Big Maybell sings. And be one with, you know, just like a book. Rochester is unusual in that there are four or five record stores that can all be sustained in the economy. And for Margaret Storms at Record Archive, she recognizes the community and tactile aspect of both the popular used and the new vinyl. Now that portability isn't an issue, CDs sort of lose a little bit of pastiche, whereas, um, you know, records are this giant, great big visual thing. You get to play with it. You have this like whole ritual of putting the record on the platter. And I think that it makes you more mindful of the music as you're listening to it. If you are putting a record on, it's an activity that you can do together. Go to your shelf, pick something out. And in 22 minutes, you're gonna have to flip that record over and decide new record, different record. Let's figure it out. For Armin Shawbrook at House of Guitars, it's the simple nostalgia of an old record. A lot of times it brings back memories of you in your, uh, in your prime time as a kid, you know, and it brings back those days. So it it's, uh, uh, can make you feel really good. Now the idea of ritual is common to every store owner we talk to. Mark Cady of Hi-Fi Lounge was at the forefront of the CD wave, and now he's on the vinyl wave that's coming back. For him, listening to records has gained another quality in today's day and age. It's something that's completely removed from the internet, you know, it's some, uh, with streaming music it's one more thing where you're connected to the internet. And when you're playing records, uh, you, you know, you have to go through the whole ritual of playing records if you do it right. People don't carve out time to just listen to music the way that they used to, except for if they're listening to records. You tend to focus on it more, it's a different experience. Also, more people are turning to vinyl because of the well-documented better sound, if the record is mastered correctly. CDs and streaming services compress the audio, meaning a lot of that data is lost. While the sound might not be noticeably different in a car or on cheap headphones, you can definitely tell when you're listening on a nice speaker system. So now people of all ages are looking for that better sound. Shawbrook says vinyl used to just be for those hi-fi collectors after its original heyday, of course, but now it's changed to younger people. College kids, they wanted to have their favorite uh, CD on vinyl uh, to look at the pictures, to read it, because you're really buying uh, a time period of an artist's life when you buy a vinyl. Storms at Archive has noticed another demographic change as well. So our largest growing demographic of vinyl shoppers right now are young women, which is really amazing to see as one back here. When I first started working here as a teenager a uh, number of years ago, <laughs> <Believe it or. laughs> um, you know, I think most of our customers were like middle-aged gentlemen, a lot of punks, a lot of metalheads. Those were the people keeping the scene alive as well as DJs. Whereas now, you know, we have a pretty good mix of everybody, but definitely seeing young women come and shop anywhere between the ages of like 16 and 26 is awesome back here. I never thought I'd see it, but it's wonderful. You know, music is for everybody, and I feel like vinyl is a good way to share it. But going forward, Katie at Hi-Fi Lounge thinks listeners might need to become investors as well. If this whole thing is going to have legs, I, I don't think that the way it's going to happen is... Uh, people listening, you know, on these Chinese uh, Crosley things that they're buying for $89. You know, I, I want this to be a real experience for people, and I think that's, that's how it's going to happen, is if it's a quality experience for them. Both Archive and House of Guitars say that the Recording Industry Association of America's numbers reflect more poorly on CDs because larger stores aren't selling CDs anymore. So that means more business on used CDs for record stores, who just might be ahead of the curve for the next trend after vinyl. Thank you so much for watching. To watch more digital exclusives, you can just keep scrolling on down. And if you want to see the great content we put out on air every single day, just click on the News tab.
Dan Gross, News 8. And uh, now Miles and I are just going to hang out a little bit more.